In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how I repainted my Mack truck. Now this video is going to be basically a general overview of the process. Now this isn't going to be a super detailed step-by-step how-to video. This video is more to show you that this can be done yourself if you have the dedication, the work, work ethic, and the willpower to do it. And that you don't necessarily need a fancy spray booth and all that kind of stuff in order to get good results. So I just wanted to walk you guys around this truck here real quick, show you some of the paint issues that we have on it that we're going to correct. Now this is the worst side, but you can see we got lots of places where the clear coat's just flaking off of it all over the side of the sleeper. There's no clear coat left on the roof. I've already removed all my lettering off the doors and such and removed the adhesive. When we come around to the front, we see a lot of rock chips on the front. This hood has been previously repainted prior to me buying the truck. They did a pretty poor job of it. You can actually see at one point, this truck was truck number 69, and they didn't even remove the vinyl lettering when they repainted the hood. And also, the colors mismatched, which you can clearly see here. And in the right lighting, you can definitely tell the difference between the color of the hood and the rest of the truck. The clear coat's gone off the front of the mirrors and they're pretty rock chipped up. We've got some corrosion on some spots on the aluminum sleeper. It's causing the paint to bubble and chip off. You can see we've got a lot of the same issues on this side. It's not quite as bad as the other side, but a lot of the same issues still exist. Some more of that corrosion on the aluminum. I've already removed the exhaust stack, taken my chicken lights out that I installed in another video. And we're basically going to try to take everything off of this truck that I can reasonably take off that touches any surfaces that I plan to paint. So we'll take these grab handles off, we'll take the mirrors off. I'll, I'll probably try to remove this window as we've got some paint issues next to the gasket here. We're going to remove things like the, the hood hinges, these vents, take the headlights out, take the grill off. We'll remove the visor, the roof lights and the horns. And then we'll be able to start sanding this thing down and prep it for paint.
Okay, so we've done some sanding on this. This is one of the areas that we had some of that corrosion. You can still see some pitting in the metal here after sanding it down. You can feel it a little bit. It's not super bad, but I'm sure that that's going to show through on the paint. So I'll have to decide if I want to fill that with maybe a little body filler and sand it smooth so that the paint comes out smooth. Uh, the issue with that is body filler does tend to hold moisture, so that could lead to some future corrosion problems or if I just want to live with it how it is. I'll have to decide on that, but I got a long ways to go before we're ready to paint this thing, so I'll show you a couple other things here too. So we got a few different layers here. This is bare aluminum. This is an etching primer. This is a sealer primer, base coat. And then you see how this over here is kind of a little more of a milky color than the, the base coat. That's still a clear coat there. Because the predominant issue on this truck is the fact that the clear coat's peeling off, we need to try to remove all of the clear coat. However, we want to avoid exposing as much bare metal as we possibly can. Everywhere that I expose bare metal, I'm gonna to have to reapply a self etching and a sealer primer. Whereas the factory primer and sealer primer are just fine. If we can, we wanna to try to leave as much of that on the truck as we possibly can. But up front here too, uh, I'll show you this side that I haven't touched yet. You can see all the rock chips in the front of this truck. And on this side, we've sanded the paint down, gotten it all smooth. Uh, there is still a few rock chips that are into the fiberglass. We can just hit that with the little spot glazing putty and sand that off and we'll be good to go. This right here is the reason why we wanna to try to remove all of that failing clear coat. This hood's been repainted once before and you can see how the clear coat peeled underneath the repainted surface and now we've got spots on the hood where the the repaint is coming off because the clear coat underneath it has failed so that's why we need to try to remove all the clear coat that we possibly can and anyway i got a lot of hours of sanding ahead of me and that's going to be pretty boring so i'll bring you guys back once i got something more interesting to show you we started out with 80 grit sandpaper, followed by 120, followed by 220 grit, and then finally 320 grit sandpaper. After that, any bare metal areas were primered with a self-etching primer, followed by a sealer primer. Okay, so what we got here is we got some soapy water in a pump-up sprayer. Got 500 grit sandpaper. Generally, I would use 400, but when I went to pick up sandpaper, they were out of 400. They had a bunch of 500. General consensus is anywhere between 4 to 600 grit is fine for this process. We've got all of our primer applied. And we're going to go through and we're going to block it all out wet. We've got a soft sanding block. You don't want to use your fingertips because you have high pressure points on where your fingertips are on the sandpaper. And you can actually sand grooves into the paint. So use, use a soft block. Uh, for how much flat area we got here, it would kind of be nice to have a little larger block than this. But this process goes fairly quick. So this is fine. Uh, keep your sandpaper soaking in water. If, when you do this, uh, keep your water changed out so it's clean. Also keep a clean rag. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna wet sand out this primer. I know some of you guys are gonna question about pr not primering the whole truck. Uh, we still may end up doing that. Uh, Ended up with a lot more primer on this thing than I really thought I was going to. I also 
broke through into the factory primer in a lot more areas than what I thought I would too. I uh, had to get pretty aggressive with the sanding to, uh, in order to remove all of the clear coat, plus then you have areas with clear coat, areas with not, you know, it was really easy to break through. Automotive paints tend to be somewhat translucent, meaning that the background color kind of shows through a little bit. Here is I've primed everywhere that I had any kind of bare metal showing, even if it was just, you know, a couple little spots along the edge, just kind of prime the area. So that we make sure that we have good adhesion to the bare metal. We do have good adhesion on the base coat here. And you can put Gorilla Tape on here and rub it on there real good and pull it off. None of the paint comes off with it. So I'm satisfied that we have good, good adhesion. Uh, with the amount of aggressive sanding that I had to do on this, uh, this might have actually been a better candidate to just chemically strip it all the way down and start over. But this is where we're at now. All the clear coats removed. We've got primer on it. I've got a couple smaller pieces. You know, there's there's a filler panel here that goes under the grab handle. And then the back side of the mirrors are color matched to the truck. Some pieces like that. I'm going to mix up a small quantity of paint this and I'm going to shoot those first. And uh, if I have any trouble with the with the background showing through. They do make primers that you can shoot them on. Let them flash off for about 45 minutes and you can shoot right over the top of them without having to resand the surface. So I should have this completely prepped by the end of the day today. Uh, besides probably a little bit of masking and a final wipe down with some alcohol. So when I come in tomorrow, I'll shoot those few pieces first thing, and uh, if it looks like we have a problem, I'll have time I can run to the paint store, grab some primer that I can just shoot right over the top of, and hit the, hit the truck with that first. And uh, we're gonna go from there. But anyway, uh, we'll show you how to wet sand this here quick, and uh, go from there. Basically all we're trying to do is just smooth off the high spots and make this all nice and smooth. But yet the, uh, but yet the grit of the sandpaper still leaves enough bite for the paint. You feel the difference when you got it locked down smooth. It'll feel a little raspier at first, and then it smooths right out real quick. And that's how you know when you got it knocked down, you're good to go. the reflection of the light on this panel after we wet sanded it and it's dried off it's got a little bit of a dull sheen to it after wet sanding the truck was washed with Dawn dish soap and water and then the shop floor was cleaned and it was brought back in to be masked and then wiped down with alcohol before paint okay I just finished shooting my first two test pieces they look great. They covered really well. Uh, we're using DuPont Emron. We're shooting it in a base clear. And this is actually just the base coat. Now I've never actually shot Emron before. And the guy at my paint supplier told me that the base coat itself is going to be very shiny. Which I'm not quite used to. Normally this would still look dull after shooting the base coat on it. But this looks quite good, I'm very pleased with it.
Uh, we're going to go ahead and mix up some more paint. I only mixed a very small quantity to do this. So we're going to mix up some more paint and then we're going to shoot the rest of the truck. So I hope you guys can hear me with all this stuff on. I'll speak up really loud. But it's pretty important that you protect yourself from this stuff. Actually, I'm going to go grab a set of gloves here real quick. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it helped you out. Be sure to take pride in your ride. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe down below. Thank you. Have a good day.